Right, so guys, we're up top. I thought I'd just save you the save you the hassle of me getting up here, sort of thing, you know, because it does take a little while getting up the, the ladder and then getting all the ropes done and getting the old uh, saw up with me, you know. But here we are up top. And as you can see, it's a beautiful day in Elgin today, you guys. Hopefully you can sort of see right around. And this is the area where we live because it's about five minutes walk from the school for David and Emily and it's hugely beneficial for us with the child minding, you know, so it's a, it's a great spot to be in, you know. And this is pretty much the area I grew up in, you know. It's all very familiar, loads of folk that I know and stuff like that, you know. But yeah, check the day out, eh? I used to work in a garage called Arnold Clark, you'll see it just as we go up over, up on top there, we should see it actually. Yeah, so I've still got that to go, but guys, we're pretty much 30 feet to that top point. So I really need to be careful. Really, really need to be careful. So as you can see, guys, look, I'm totally roped up. Can okay, no hassle. Trying to ram my leg as well, you know, just to, that'll keep me tight, you know, when I'm moving. But at the minute, you know, this is the kind of, the dicey part. But um, it's certainly a part but to be really careful with, you know. It's just getting up this, so I've got backwards on my bum. slack because basically guys we're going over that side and, and when I'm up over this that's me got the the angle with the the ropes that I'm looking for let's get you back up there we go you guys also recognize that's north for you guys out to Hopeman, Lossy Mouth all that that building you see the steepest that's our hospital where I've been far too many times now it's Lady Hill up there the old Duke of Gordon himself watching over and uh, yeah, so we're just a little bit higher up now. And we're in the winter time, you guys. It looks nice just now, it's cold. And uh, you're also going to get the, the snow at some stage, even as late as April, you know. So we're not out of the woods yet, as it were, you know. And here we are up top. Oh, man. And you'll see the kind of scale of the issue that this kind of happened. It's not a big deal, really. But we just want to discourage the, the birds from nesting and stuff, you know, so all this really needs to come out. That's why we've got the bad boy here to get going. I've also got a set of secateurs to cut as well. So here comes this kind of boring bit, it's trying to get across this roof. And as you'll see, you guys, you also have this roof up and tied to me. And down there in the closest, uh, the alleyway that runs down the side of the house is blocked off. So hopefully nobody will be silly enough to walk up there and ignore my signs. I know this ivy is hugely tough for you guys, so let's see how we get on. I'm not going to push hard, I'm just going to take my time. My shoulder's really sore and I'm pretty tired actually. Not tired enough not to come up here. If I get too tired I'll stop, but generally once you get going the tiredness leaves. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is the boy, let me tell you. Uh, we'll just work our way along. As you can see, you guys, but you know, over there, there's a lot of birds' nests, and there's, uh, you know, there's no uh, eggs or babies. It's too cold for that just now. But the birds are certainly trying to make a home, so that's pretty much going to stop today. Yeah, and this is an electric job, this one, you guys, you know, I've got some, uh, some uh, rechargeable tools, but they, they just kind of annoy me, you know, I'd rather they're just full on all the time, you know, just hook them up. The important thing is, guys, especially when you're doing this, is let the tool do its job, don't put too much strain. That's what it's there for. <laughs> After a wee while, you have to be quite careful, you guys, you know, getting into the real thick stuff, because I can smell the motor a little bit just now, so I don't want to push them too hard. But we're getting there. I just want to tighten up my ropes here, you guys, just to make sure I'm nice and tight. If anything happens, I'm sure we'll be fine. I'm not monkeying around up here, let me tell you that for nothing. Oh, here we go. I've got a 
an eight-year-old daughter and a six-year-old boy, you don't, you're not going to catch me taking risks, I'll tell you that for nothing. Calculated risks, yeah, maybe, yeah. Oh, still pushing on you guys. It looks like a, a mountain, but it is. Uh, sorry, it's not really that big a deal. Just have to take my time, you know. I'm getting there. That bit there, probably about a foot in, is actually the edge of the house. Same again over there, so you can see how far I've got to go with this, you know. I have to stop the birdies nesting this year, you know, they're just... I absolutely love them, but I'd rather have like four or five nests rather than 30 nests, which was the case last year. <laughs> energy drinks sitting right there you guys let's do this thing oh. yeah I really want to get sat underneath it you know even if I get it nice and tight to the tight to the roof they'll stop nesting you know well, that's the hope anyway a big lorry oh. Yeah, just go down the way you guys, let the thing do its, do its job. Yeah, and also what I've brought up here you guys is a set of secateurs. Might not look like much, but let me tell you that will go through even some of the toughest, you know. So what I think I'm going to do is go down and do a little bit of trimming, you know. And uh, just try and relax. I want to have my Monster Energy drink though. You know, but as you'll see, oh here we go, you know. That's pretty thick, you guys, and that was done with without any real hassle, you know. And it'll do bigger ones than that. You know, I'm actually wondering if I cut that bit back too far just there. You know, going up to that point. I'd like to keep that point, you see. I wonder if I've went too far. Don't know. Don't know. But at some stage, I'm going to sort of lie on the roof and cut down the way, you know. And that's why I'm leaving as much of this as I can, just that added sort of safety. You know, if I was to slip or something, you've got all this here to sort of get a foothold and stuff, you know. But as you can see, I've got you all the way down there as well. <sighs> yeah, I feel like I've made a bit of a mistake here, you guys. You know, maybe we shouldn't have uncovered this part, you know. But we'll see. I'll just have to tramp on. But this is what these are good for. There's no point in burning out the motor and the, the hedge clippers, you know. No point whatsoever. Second years only cost a couple of pounds. Get all this, you guys. You'll see, guys, we're starting to see the roof line now. I'm just trying to get this big tuft area out of here, like. Because, goodness me, guys, you know, the corner of the house is just. It's just down about there. And I think this thing will reach it. Pardon me, that's my. Have my Monster Energy drink new guys, coming back up on my. all about taking our time today I'm just not rushing this job let me tell you way too dangerous a job to be mucking around with I don't know if you guys can see but you know just down in there to create a big hollow bit right inside that part there and that's where the guys are trying to make their nests for the springtime but uh, Uncle Stevie's up to spoil the show I'm afraid you guys I just can't have this amount of nests this year yeah, so we're definitely catching the birdies, you guys. Look at this, the nests. There's nothing in them. You know, I've been really being very careful and checking and stuff, you know, and really having a look around, but they're going to see the whole show's been spoiled. No, not this year, you lot. When we come to sell the house, it'll be up to the next person whether they want loads of birds or not. What I'll also do is get up here with the hose, the garden hose, because like so this bit here, I can wash all that out, you know, wash the whole thing, and it'll just go down into the gutter and into the, the system, you know. So all that sand residue, you know. Let's keep adjusting the angle of the action cam, guys. Sorry if that's distracting. We are, we're at it. We're getting there slowly but surely. I've broken the back of it now. I've broken the back of it now. Just make sure that I break my back now. I just have to make sure I don't break my back. Yeah, no, I'm all roped up. 
I'm all roped up here, I'm fine. It's a, it's a bonny day, goodness me. Very, very nice indeed. <laughs> Did you see it? Did Sean send you it? Oh, awesome. Oh, I was so... David has chuffed the bits. It just shows you. It just shows you. David's just chuffed the, chuffed the bits. Leg was awesome. He's just been going on about that boat every night of the week. That was our friendly neighbourhood, Vicky. <laughs> One of our neighbours, she's so cool with the kids. She just loves them a bit. Took him down Lego last night and David's just so chuffed. We're getting there, as you can see. See the edge of the roof right there, you guys? And then I can see right through you. So it's only like at the tip of this thing here. So we're getting closer. So guys, we're off the head come just for a minute. And as you can see, we're sort of building this wall here. I'm starting to get really tired, but I'm okay. I'll be okay. No more limitations at the minute. I wasn't going to quite bore you with that whole bit there, you guys, but you can, can you see the line going down? So I got my camera at the right angle, sorry. Yeah, guys, I wasn't going to... Yeah, guys, I wasn't going to waste my time. Hey, waste your time doing this bit here, but as you can see, we've got all this away, look, right the way all across. And we've just left that kind of shelf. And, you know, that's as far as I can go there, there, and there. So what we're going to do, you guys, is take the rope... And you see it's all tied off down there. Hopefully you can see that. What I'll do is throw the rope over the side of the house there. And that'll give me perfect safety to get up and do that bit there. Well, you know what I mean. As safe as you can possibly be. And I shout the kids know not to go out the back. It is off limits at the moment. Because basically, guys, you know, I do have everything. You know, as you'll just see there. You know, everything's tied up, everything's tied on. You know, so nothing should fall, but... Like any chances, you guys. Goodness me. So I'm going to do with the old trimmer here, because it does weigh... Oh, I don't know what it would weigh. Seven or eight kilos? I don't know. It's, it's, it's heavy after a while, anyway. I'm just going to lower that down. And you'll see the lanyard sitting down there. I'll clip onto that to get back down again. But we'll take the lanyard over at the other side. There. And we should get that bit done. Yeah, guys, this is basically just take absolute... You know, take your time. Get it right. You know, stage by stage. You know, first stage is getting this thing down. I need to get hooked onto there to be ultra safe, you know, because I'm not I'm not fully safe at the moment, you know. As such. Or not as safe as I'd like to be, you know. Oh, here we go. Right, so if I get the edge of the trimmer over. There we go. I really want to be hooked back onto the lanyard, you see. Right guys, so that's the trimmer all safe for the ropes. I'm actually on to nothing now. But I am staying on my bum. It's not slippy, it's not wet, it's not too steep. So it's a bit of a, like a calculated risk. Pardon me. Right, what we'll do is, go cowboy style, you Americans. Here we go, right, let's get back up. Oh. See, just on my bum. Making absolutely sure I'm not taking any risks. Because as you can see, guys, we're like almost 30 feet up at some points here. So, cowboys, I have to try and get this rope out and down there without, you know, I've got to make sure it's not caught anywhere. You know, which is not going to be easy. But again, taking absolutely no major risks at all to do this. Staying on my bum. I'll just shimmy down this bit here, look. What I want to try and do is throw the rope out as far as I can, out right that way. Without catching, <laughs> without catching next door's house. So here we go. Here we go, here we go. Now I have got the feeling, you guys, that that's not going to actually touch the ground. In fact, I'm certain of it. It will be okay once we get the, the rig back on. Oh, this is where I've had a bit of a better idea, you guys. Look, I think what I'll do is, this is when I should have taken up another big rope, is uh, lower this down and tie it off onto the onto the ladder, I think. That leaves me free, free and clear to take my time and get over this corner piece here. Okay, I'm a total safety in mind. This is still cl clipped on, so even if I was to drop it, we're going to be okay. But you know something? It'll change the angle of this to there. I think it'll be a lot easier. Here we go.
Here we go, up top to go and see my girl, wherever she is. Hey, hey! <laughs> and we've got, the, we've got the ropes all on, haven't we, you guys? Hey? We're all roped up again. And we and Kelly are still up here. Yeah, oh, what we'll do is we'll tie off there, look. We'll tie off there with the lanyard. And we've also got the ab sailing rope up top on the house, haven't we? Yeah. Hello, girly. Hello. And there's Kelly Ann. <laughs> now you guys are on your day off for school today, aren't you? Yeah. It's very cool, isn't it? Um, at, at school we would already have, we've already had lunch at school, but we don't need to. We stayed up late last night and I woke up at 2. Are you going to be doing a 24 hour challenge? Maybe. Maybe, you guys, maybe. But we haven't figured out later. Yeah. About 24 hours in our bedroom. That, we could do, you could do that. Couldn't you? Yeah. So as you'll see you guys, it's just as safe as possible, you know. Ladders butted right against the wall, nice and safe, up top. I've obviously got all my harnesses, we've got the rope. So up we go, up we go. Okay, so up we go you guys. Up we go. So the ladder is very, very safe at the moment. We'll just tie off. We'll just tie off just quick. And pull the, pull the ropes through again. So nice and safe. Oh. This is the other side of the coin. With all this stuff. I see getting tall up. You've got to be really careful with. This is the way I prefer to do things, you guys. Probably a bit overkill. A bit overkill, you know, but there's loads of you guys, I'm sure, that we've got this ladder in a heartbeat. I used to do that when I was younger, you guys, but not now. Okay, yeah, so this. Oh, they won't come with a pool. Oh, no, that's what it is. Oh, oh that's one hit me right in the head. That's okay, we'll survive. Yeah. Just got to do this bit by bit. Yeah, the ropes definitely are a little bit more time consuming, you guys, but that's safety for you, you know, but good, let me check out, eh? Wow. Up we go. Bring it up in there, done now. Yeah, so it's us up and tied off again, you guys, and here we go. God, trying to get up there, that really scares me. I have to be honest, that's, that's a wee bit too high for me. As you can see, you know, we're up a good, well, easily 20 feet up to my head here, I think. And guys, take a look at the trail of destruction we've left behind. Oh my goodness me, that is our back deck, look. Um, you know, we're going to be building up there very soon. We'll be building up a little, um, you know, just like a little covered house area just there. And of course, as you'll see with these green slats going across these joists, that's going to be another part of the deck. But basically, guys, this is the majority of what we've cut, which I've thrown across in the garden, and we're going to... We'll have to sort of chop them up um, as much as we can, you know, to get them into bags. But as you can see now, you guys, I mean, we've just got a couple of tufts to get up there and do, you know, so I can just pop up on the ladder and do that. And uh, we can sort of get going. But yeah, look at this, you guys. Just crazy the amount. And like I said, we'll get the secateurs and I'll just cut them all up. You know, cut, 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 get them into bags, get this whole back bit cleaned up again. You know, that should do, eh? but I'll tell you guys the ivy will look awesome, I think, when it's done. When I mean, you look at that, it's lovely. It's that shape going on there. It's really nice. And same again up the wee close here, you guys, as you'll see. But look, look how bonny that is on the, the fence, you know? Up it goes, up it goes. Once we get those tufts out of the way and get it really tight and close to the house, it'll be actually lovely. Hey, check it out. So guys, that's this video really finished now, and uh, the, the reason why we've actually stopped play is because this is the calm before the storm. We're supposed to be having a storm uh, very soon that's been the worst one in seven years, and you can just see it's been really still lately. You can now just see things starting to flap around a little bit. I don't know if you can see that properly. Let's head on up. So what we're going to do, you guys, is I'm going to try my best and do a storm video. Woo! A storm video. It's supposed to be really wild. So let's have to wait and see, eh? Yeah. 
But anyway, guys, listen, for now, thank you so much for watching. But lots of DIY stuff to come, including this uh, shelter that I'm going to build up over there on the deck and get this deck all done and stuff like that, you know, and you get a new gate on and stuff. There's always something to do.